Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today, I figured um, we would uh, go through all my pages that I've done in um, books by Maria Tolle. Um, so I will leave links for all the books that I have of hers down in the description if you want to check them out. Um, and I think we'll just jump straight in. I'm gonna start with Twilight Garden. I think this was my first book of hers. Um, and I've done a, a, a good amount in this book. Uh, this is a book I'm trying to finish. Uh, so let's see, let's just get it all into frame. So I've done uh, these two here. Um, this one was with all kinds of inky stuff. So um, distress inks for the background and ink tents, I think, for the bird and the feather. Um, not too, not too happy with it. Um, I still have to get a hang, you know, the hang of my distress inks. But this, I think, was a first attempt with them. And I think I got way too much pigment on there. Uh, this page I did with uh, pencils and gel pens. Um, and I think some black Posca here. I don't remember what pencils I used. Probably Prismacolor. Um, and some Sparkle Pop, I think. Um, I don't know if y'all can see the sparkle. Um, these were done a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> so, then I've done this one. This is done in only gel pens. Uh, this was like a, a 1k special on my channel. Um, I can throw in a, a card with a link if you want to check out that video. Um, it turned out alright. Uh, pretty... I don't know. I kind of like it for being only gel pens. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, what else have I done here? I haven't ticked off any. Let's see, I've got these two finished. This one I did a long time ago. I think I used Pablo's and Luminance, maybe. This one I think I did with Prismacolor. I did this, uh, most of it on stream. Um, so that's there if y'all want to check that out. And I used Prismas and some Jelly Roll Glaze for the shiny bits and some, uh, did I use any Sparkle Pop? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just stuck to the, um, Jelly Roll Glaze and some white gel pen for the, um, spots. I really like how this one came out. Uh, let's see, I've done this one in ink tens. Uh, this was supposed to be a color along on my channel, but then I chickened out and deleted the footage. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it, it, it turned out all right. Um, I think it was done only in ink tens. I think. So yeah, it's not too bad now that I'll look at it again, but when I first done it. I was like, eh. But it's alright. Let's see, what else have we done? I've done quite a few in this book. Like I said, I'm trying to finish it. I've uh, done this one. This was also a long time ago. This was also done in only Inktense, I think. Inktense blocks for the background. Um, <clears throat> and Inktense pencils for everything else. Uh... See, I started this one and never finished it. This was also started with ink tens. And I need to go back and finish it. Uh, let's see. What else have we done? Done this one here. I did this with Pablo's. Uh, oh, and I've done this one here. Testing out new pencils. I think... I used the Star Joys on this. I thought it turned out pretty, pretty nice. The uh, pencils were pretty, pretty good on this paper. Um, 
I did this page. This I think is a color along on the channel. And I think I used Prisma colors and then dry um, King Art gel sticks for the background. Uh, let's see. What else have we done? Let's see. I just finished this page here um, a few days ago. And I used Arteza pencils and Pro Colors and Distress inks for the butterflies in the background. And some Paul Rubens for the shiny bits. Um, I like how this, this one came out. I thought it turned out pretty. Um, let's see, I've done this one here. Uh, with I think Prismacolor. This was also a color along. I think it was my first ever color along actually. Um, but yeah, I used Prismacolor pencils and a black Posca for all the black inside the heart. Oh, uh, I've done the owl um, with. King Art gel sticks for a base and also oil pastels and Prismacolor on top. I think the background is, is uh, King Arts. Um, I kind of like how it, how it came out. It's a lot of color, very bright. Um, and it was, it was a lot of fun trying to use oil pastels on here. It was um, a body color with uh, Shannon over uh, she also did it on her channel and we decided to use the old pastels and the King Arts and hers also turned out amazing I will link her channel also down below uh, let's see what else have we done uh, I started this one with um, Sennelier watercolors just a little mini palette um, and I didn't finish the background. I was in a painting mood one day and I fi figured I'd just start painting a background. Um, I did this one. This is done all in Holbein's, um, Holbein pencils for the tree and um, the cats and all that. And Holbein watercolors for the background. I'm amazed that I remember everything I've used, actually. I didn't think I was going to. Um, yeah, I kind of like how this one came out. I thought my cats turned out cute. Very uh, smooth coat, but I thought they turned out pretty cute. I did not, I remember I didn't, I didn't like the pencils on this paper. So not sure if I'll be using them in this book again. Uh, they were kind of a struggle. Um, but it turned out all right, so. Uh, then I've done this double page here with, um, this was another Inktense page. I love using Inktense in these books. Uh, this was an Inktense and I think some Posca for all the pink in here. Uh, and I used Graphitint for the leaves. Because I like that muted green. Um, and yeah, this is the quickest double, double page I've ever done. I haven't done very many, but this one only took me like a day or so. Uh, of course, I could have layered more and spent more time on it, but it looks alright. So I think that may be the last page I've done in here. Yes, it is. So yeah, that was Twilight Garden. I haven't done this many pages in all of them. <laughs> just just that one because I'm trying to finish it. Um, and Nightfall is up next and I'll be trying to finish this at some point too. I'm just starting with Twilight Garden and I'll work my way down. Um, so Nightfall, let's see, I know I've done a few. Um, I didn't take any of these off, of course. Um, 
Okay, so I've done this one. I'm trying to remember what I used. I think I used ink tens on this. Um, and some sparkle pop I can see in the um, in the flowers, the sparkle. I don't know if it picks up, does, kind of. Uh, but I do remember I did this page real quick because I'd gotten some new water brushes I wanted to try out. Um, so yeah, I think I use ink tens. Um, and of course Sparkle Pop, which is my favorite gel pens, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, I started this page with Pablo's. I didn't make it very far. I got tired of the itty bitty flowers real quick. But I'm gonna have to go back and, and finish it at some point. I've done this one in Polly's, I think. Um, kind of like how it turned out. Uh, I like the mushrooms down here and I like the butterfly. And of course I like the pink. Uh, let's see if I've done anything else in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've done this one. This was another really quick one. I don't remember what I used. Either Prismas or Pablo's and um, some Sparkle Pop for all the little dots. Um, done anything else in here oh I've done this one this one was for Valentine's Day I think uh, about not this Valentine's Day that in that was in February but the one before that so almost two years ago and I used of course a Valentine's Day palette uh, so pinks and I used uh, sparkle pop I think for the sparkle and I don't remember what pencils I used. Probably Prismas, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see, anything else in here? That may have been it. Yes, that is it for Nightfall. Done more pages in there than I thought, actually. I forgot about most of these pages. Then I've got Flora. I'm so sorry about the glare over here, by the way. My desk is too shiny. I need to get something to cover cover the uh, shiny part of the desk. Uh, I've done this one. Um, I think I used Polly's on the butterfly. And I used Gelato's for the background. And it looks awful. And Because um, I, I used the Gelato straight on the paper. Like I scribbled it on. Like you would with uh, you know watercolor pencils or ink tins. And then I tried to activate it, and the scribbly lines will not, like, go away. <laughs> no matter how much um, I go over. So, uh, this is when I realized, uh, or I thought, I didn't like gelatos. But then, I like them now, I just know how to use them better now. Uh, but yeah, this, I stopped using gelatos for a long time after this. Um... So, yeah, definitely a big fail page, but I like the butterfly though, so that's something. Um, let's see. Uh, nope, I've started this page right here with Aroja tins and I think Prismas, but I didn't like how the blue flower was coming out, so I kind of just stopped. Um, let's see. Sorry if y'all hear uh, noises. It's uh, storming here. It's about to. Uh, I've done this page with Pablo's and acrylic paint for the background. Um, I was trying to do some blendy stuff with it. It didn't quite work out, um, but it looks it looks all right. I need to practice more with acrylic paint. And I got it, of course, everywhere. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to do a, a clean up when I go to color these other pages here. Um, I did this page with uh, 
polys and some sparkle pop. Uh, it turned out all right. Uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> I started this page and I didn't like the leaves, so I um, abandoned it. I think I, uh, I think I used luminance. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I used luminance on it. So I'm gonna have to fix it at some point. Um, I've got a lot of whips, a lot of whips, and a lot of books. Uh, let's see, that may have been it for this book. I've been trying to focus mainly on Twilight Garden. Um, but yeah, that's it for Flora. Let's see, then I've got Botanicum, which is, this book is pretty new, so I haven't done a whole lot in it. I got big coffee stain on my um, extra piece of paper there, because I'm me and I spill things on everything. Um, I've done, I think, two pages in here. Okay, so the first one is this one. Well, it was my second page in here, but origin of the coffee stain. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I used. Black Widows. I used Black Widows. And I really, really like how this one came out. It's probably one of my favorite pictures that I've colored, maybe. Um, lots of white Posca or white gel pen and some Jelly Roll Glaze. Um, in the strawberries on the butterfly. Um, I tried out a new type of background with uh, extra grass. Um, I don't know if that shows up or not. Um, but yeah, I really like I really like how this one came out. Uh, see, I think I've done one more in here. Um, should have done one more here. I did this one on New Year's Eve or around New Year's Eve. Uh, it was um, a stream. I did it on, on stream and I based everything in pan pastels. Um, and I think I went over with either Prismacolor or Pablo's. I don't really don't remember which one, but one of those. And I like my little froggy. I thought he turned out pretty cute. And I think that may be it for this book. Yeah. So that's it for the Botanicum. Um, then I've got Luna. This is my last book of, of hers. And I've, do, blah, I've done... Uh, I think two in here. Ugh, really? Okay. So I've done this one. The uh, big double pager. Uh, Shannon, that I mentioned earlier, um, had a community body color for this page about two months ago. I finished it a few days late, but I still finished it. And it was, I don't think I've ever used so much purple in my life. Uh, it looks bluer on the screen, but it is purple. Um, but I really like how this one came out. Um, and I used everything on this. I used Illuminance and Pablo's and Polly's. And I think some Derwent Light Fast. And I used some uh, Jelly Roll um, Clear Sparkle Pen. And I used some Jelly Roll Glaze. And I used a metallic uniball. A gold metallic uniball. Um, and I based everything first with King Art Gel Sticks. I don't know why I'm sw swirling my arm around. Um, and yeah, I really like how it came out. I thought it turned out pretty nice. So Probably the biggest, most detailed page I've ever done. And the most leaves I've ever done, too, I think. <laughs> it's a lot of leaves on this page. So then, I think I've done one more in here. Uh, I think I did a page in this right when I got it, when it came out. 
Yes, here. I did this page. Um, I think I started it on stream. Uh, if I remember correctly. And I think I used Supras. Um, and Paul Rubens. And I think that is all I used. I tried to stick to just Supras and Paul Rubens. Because I wanted it to be all watercolor. Um, and I really like how it came out. I love the shiny. <laughs> so... Um, oh, and I use some white gel pen. Um, that it doesn't even show up, I think, but there's some bubbles that I use white gel pen on. And I think that is it. Uh, just, I haven't looked through this book in forever now. Um, no, I think that is it. Yes. So... That is it for today and for all my Maria Trolle uh, pages that I've finished. I'm hoping to finish um, some more this month and, you know, finish my Twilight Garden eventually, hopefully soonish. Um, probably going to take a long time though, but one can dream. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Hugs and love. Toodaloo.